how was everyone doing? Good, I hope. Um, right, a few things I want to uh, talk about. First of all, uh, it, it, the uh, Terminator um, Dark Fate trailer, right, uh, I've just seen it, you know. And uh, we, we, I want to give my opinion on it, you know. My opinion is, uh, um, this film, it's going to be good, but it, it's not going to be great. Uh, from what I've seen. Um, right, um, so, L Linda Hamilton is back in it, and Anna Schwarzenegger is back in it, which is awesome, you know, but, uh, like, uh, this is, there's a female Terminator in, in the movie, right? and she seems to be a, a protector, right, and the evil Terminator, he's like a team 1000, except, uh, He's able to make clowns of clowns of himself, you know, and he looks Spanish, you know, Hispanic, you know. Uh <coughs> so yeah, um and uh, the 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 scene in the tra the scene in the trailer is uh the 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 the, 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 the female uh, the female um terminator is protecting these two other people, this girl and this fella in the a samurai truck, right? And um the evil terminator is driving behind him trying to kill them in another truck and it's pretty much identical to at remember at the end of Terminator two when um uh Alice Schwarzenegger, John Connor, Sarah Connor and when his shitty ass little car and uh, there's a big trailer behind him with the T one thousand and Arnie gets up on, on the um, front of the uh, truck and says shoot him through the windscreen. Well something similar except the female Terminator throws his big yoke to the to the windscreen trying to kill himself. Uh, from the trailer it seems like they're trying to they're doing a lot of things that they've done in Terminator too. So I think that they're playing a safe, I, I guess. Um which is not it's not that's not um not a bad thing, it's just something that we've seen already. That's that's one thing, you know. Uh, um now James Cameron is back, but he's only here uh, producing it and he's also writing it, you know. Now, we would have been a lot better if 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 he directed the film, but he's not. Uh, the guy that directed Deadpool is directing it, so, uh, you know, um, <coughs> we'll have to wait and see what happens. Now, there's five writers, you know, so like, that'll tell you, like, uh, like, James Cameron knows that he couldn't write a story for this film on his own because every possible storyline has been told, you know. So, like, what do you do, you know? So, he obviously feels like the only way they can do it is to do do the same sort of things that were in Terminator 2. So, that's what it seems like to me. Um, but, uh, which is not, it's not necessarily a bad thing, it's just, well, like I said, it's something that we've seen already, but we won't know for sure until the film comes out, but from the trailer, that's what it seems like, you know, instead of, um, but, like I said, we, now, Al Schwarzenegger is in it, but at the, at the very end of the trailer, he just opens the door, and then the Hamilton, Sarah Connor, and the female Terminator, and this other girl show up to his house, uh, so he's not involved in any of the action in in the trailer. So uh, that has me a bit concerned. Like, is is Arnold Schwarzenegger not going to be a Terminator in this film? Because uh, in the trailer he 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 looks like a human being. You no, know, he doesn't look like a Terminator. He's not doing any of the stuff that this female Terminator is doing. So uh, is he just going to like be a cameo? Is he just going to open the door and say how are you or stuff like that? Um. And then he gets killed or something like that. Because in Terminator 2, uh, they go to find Dyson, the guy that created Skynet. And they, uh, you know, they go to Surrey doing with him to destroy all traces of, of, of the Terminator 3. Right? And then he gets killed. You know, um, the uh, SWAT team break in and shoot him. And then he blows himself up. You know, with the stuff in Terminator Two. Now, uh, in Terminator Three: Rise of the Machines, we right, uh, now in the extended version of it, we right, um, they they explain why the Terminator 
looks like he does, why he looks the way he does as a human, why he looks like Arnold Schwarzenegger, you know, and they use this real life human being, uh, I forget his name, but they use him as the template, so all Terminators will look like him, you know, so I'm thinking that Arnold Schwarzenegger in, da in Dark Fate is that human, now he wasn't fully explained in Terminator 3, but he's the guy that the, uh, that's why all the Terminators look like to do why they look like Arnold Schwarzenegger it's because of this guy here but they didn't explain who he was or anything like that so I say in this movie they'll, they'll explain who he is and um, I guess I don't know how many guess but it seems to me like uh, they're, they're doing a lot of scenes from Terminator 2 which is not necessarily a bad thing like I said it's just like it's something that, we, that we've already seen so but in my opinion, the like, Arnold Schwarzenegger has to be a Terminator in this film. He has to be involved in the film. He can't be like just somebody that they go to for help and then he gets killed. Like a Deutsch now Terminator too, like, you know. Yeah, they go to him to destroy Skynet and then he gets killed. So because um them um this guy um What's the reason why the Charles the term the look the way they do? I, I don't know. Like I'm gonna guess what 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 Arnold Schwarzenegger involvement in this film is going to be. But from the trailers, he looks like a human being. He's old. He's got a beard. He's got cuts in his face, and he's not involved in any of the action in the trailer. Look, like I said it's this female Terminator and this Spanish looking Terminator and Linda Hamilton. So if that is the case, it's gonna be disappointing for me personally because. In my opinion, like, it'd be a lot better if Arnold Schwarzenegger wasn't involved in the action, if he was kicking ass, but if they can explain it in a way that's good, I guess, then but he, ha he has to be involved, but we have to wait and see what happens, you know. Now, the CGI in the trailer looks fucking terrible, really fucking bad, it's like a video game, so, but I say that they that, that get a re before the film comes out, you know. Yeah, so, yeah, so Terminator 6, Dark Fate, you know. Uh, now, um, so like I said, it's good, but it's nothing great, in my opinion, you know. Uh, but I am going to go, go, on to go and see it, right? Now, it seems to me that, from the trailer, they're ignoring Terminator 3, they're ignoring Terminator Salvation, and uh, Terminator Genesis. But they're using elements that were in them films anyway and putting them in here. That's what it seems like to me, but it's strange. But that's what it seems like, we right? Because we get the feeling this this female Terminator thinks she's a human. You know? You know she's not, you know what I mean? Now in Terminator Salvation, your man Sam, I forget his last name, he was a Terminator but he thought he was a human, so similar sort of thing. But we have to wait and see what happens. So I'm only guessing of what's gonna happen. But like I said, I think it's gonna be a good film. Because because James Cameron is involved and the director from Deadpool is, is involved. But there's five writers, you know, so, like, it's, it's, in my opinion, this should be the last Terminator film, because there's nothing else that they could possibly do, but as long as, as it's making money, they'll keep making them, you know, but, like, uh, um, but I think this, this should be the last one, because there's nothing else they could possibly do, you know, um, <coughs> And there's no other way to get Arnold Schwarzenegger back in in another film, or maybe there is. I don't know. Like, but if this film is is a success, like Terminator Two, which I, I doubt, of nothing will top Terminator Two. It just won't be topped. Uh, but it has the potential to do so because James Cameron is involved. We have to wait and see what happens, you know. So in my opinion, Terminator uh, Dark Fate trailer, uh, I think it's gonna be a good film. I don't think it's gonna be anything fucking great. Uh, but we'll wait and see what happens. We so yes, yeah, I want to talk about that. We now I just want to talk about something else. We we I saw another trailer. We Star Wars: The Rise of Skywalker. We now we I'm we saw the trailer and I'm confused. You know what I mean? I don't understand how or why. You know, there are my two questions after watching it. We um the uh, how is it the Rise of Skywalker without Luke Skywalker? So, because he died at the end of The Last Jedi, so if it's not about him, who is it about? 
uh, Leia is in this film. I don't know how that's possible. You know what I mean? Like, you know, but she's, she's in the trial, are we? Ray is there. Kuala Ran is there. We, and the Emperor. I know the Emperor Pal uh, Palpatine is in it. At the end, you hear him laughing. We, so, I'm just, I'm just confused of how this is happening. You know what I mean? Like, you know, and what's going to happen? Well, it's... Because cause the last Jedi... The last film, right? Star Wars last Jedi was so disappointing. Uh, in terms of story and explanations and it was sort of scratching my head you know that's my, my own opinion you know and Snoke Snoke was he just wasn't fucking epic enough as, as a bad guy in, in The Last Jedi so uh, okay it makes sense bringing Palpatine back as he is an epic fucking bad guy you know so yeah so it makes sense he, but who is the school you work at this reason? But we'll have to watch the film and find out, so that'd be good. <laughs> so, but I'm just more confused about that than Terminator Dark Fate, you know. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, that's two films that I'm, I'm definitely going to be seeing. But, but will they be as good as what I think they're going to be? <laughs> no, I don't know. Like, you have to wait and see, you know. But I don't think they'll be fucking terrible. You know, I'll, I'll say that, right? So, uh, yeah, I just, just want to make a quick video about that. Um... Terminator, you know, Dark Fate, and um, Star Wars, uh, this is the, uh, Star Wars Episode 9, uh, The Rules of Skywalker. Okay, so thanks very much if anyone's watching, and, and what do you guys think of these trailers? Do you like them, do you, do you not like them, do you understand what's going to happen, and if you do, what, why, you know, especially with Star Wars, I mean, how how is it, I don't know. So anyway, yeah, thanks very much if anyone's watching. If you have any opinions or anything, just say what you want, you know. Uh, so they're my opinions, you know. So thanks very much if anyone's watching. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.